I'm John Stefanczyk from Annapolis Discovered. We're here at Carroll's Creek Cafe and we're speaking with Karis King from the Oyster Recovering Partnership and we're going to be talking about recycling oyster shells. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, John. I appreciate it. We're sitting in front of a giant plate of uh, Maryland oysters. That's a big one. And it looks yummy. Yes, it does. Especially when we're in the season of oyster roasts. And um, you can see these on uh, cooked up several different ways or eaten raw in restaurants around Annapolis. Yes, we might have to dive in here soon, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe at the end. Maybe okay, at the okay. end. Um, and the Oyster Recovery Partnership has um, several programs with Annapolis area restaurants. Is that right? We do. We have a wonderful following of Annapolis restaurants. We have a program called the Shell Recycling Alliance. Mm -hmm. uh, 350 total participating restaurants throughout Maryland, D.C., Virginia, and Pennsylvania, uh, 30 of which uh, are Annapolis participants. Mm -hmm. So Carroll's Creek is one of them. Um, they're a great partner of ours. They've been with the program for about five years and uh, they recycle their shell daily uh, for us to rebuild oyster reefs such as you see here. Once people have the oysters at restaurants or they get them um, at a seafood market for themselves, they've got a bunch of oyster mm -hmm. shells. And that's where you guys come in. Yes. What does the Oyster Recovery Partnership do with the shells? Yeah, so that's a great question. And that's the number one question is after you clear those shells, what are, you, what are you doing with them? Why are you recycling them? What are you using them for? So we will actually take these shells. Um, we collect from about 350 restaurants throughout Maryland, D.C. and Virginia, mm -hmm. and newly added Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, we will collect those weekly. It's a free service, and we will use them to rebuild oyster reefs. Um, oyster shell is critical in the restoration process. So each one of these shells will be treated with oyster larvae. Um, once it attaches, it'll be called spat and then planted onto sanctuaries throughout the Chesapeake Bay. Now you guys have been doing this for a while, right? We have. Uh, we are celebrating 25 years. Mm -hmm. It's an exciting time. Um, looking back on our accomplishments, we've planted 8.5 billion oysters back into Maryland's portion of the Chesapeake Bay, and we've recycled 200,000 bushels of oyster shell, which is about eight thousand tons, uh, two Olympic-sized swimming pools, so to imagine that, uh, that, that's a lot of day in and day out for our crew, but. Well, I think it's important. I think it's important as you go out to dinner, you got your lunch, you go to a raw bar, you eat them cooked. Think about how important this is after you're done eating, that oysters still can use it, and it can make the waterway clean, and it can make the fishery thrive. Yes, the shell is critical to restoration efforts. It, it, without the shell, we have nothing we can work with. We have nothing to rebuild these reefs with. So the next time you're at, you know, your favorite seafood spot and you see that there's shell recycling, give them a high five for us, you know, thumbs up, because it, it's really thanks to them that we are able to do the work that we do. Well, thanks to Carol's Creek for these oysters yes. they brought us. You want to try one? Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> What a delicious plate of oysters. If you see this sign, the next time you're dining out in over 30 restaurants in Annapolis, you know you're supporting oyster reef restoration and a cleaner Chesapeake Bay. I'm John Stefanczyk for Annapolis Discovered, and until next time, I'll see you on the bay. <laughs>